Hi, I'm Ronak Sataria. I'm the founder and CEO of Respiral Link Sciences. We are a Mumbai and Pune based National Startup Award 2020 finalist working in the field of sensors, IoT and big data, primarily focused on improving urban quality of living. In late 2009, many of the Indian cities were actually nearing the same cost of living as many of the Western cities. If I'm having the same cost of living and similar salaries, why am I not getting the same quality of life? And uh, that drove me to evaluate some of these parameters and air kind of stood out from the wealthiest neighborhood to the most poorest neighborhood. The same technology should be accessible, leading to the same kind of data and same kind of understanding. We started building some of these low cost air quality monitors and initially it got picked up by a data journalism group. They got interested in the work we were doing and that got a, a conversation going. Early 2016, pollution was at a very high uh, peak and the Delhi government launched the odd even policy with the stated objective of lowering air pollution. But just two weeks prior to that, our monitors were already in place in Delhi. So we were pulled into this whole debate. How can uh, this data be used to evaluate the policy? And there were some striking findings. People really want to know about their immediate surroundings. Going back to the drawing board, saying that, okay, we know how to build this, but do we know how to build it accurately and precisely? And that's where we started interacting with the IoT team at MSR. They had a very good understanding of what they call fault detection. And we thought that was quite relevant because one of the problems we were faced with is that sensors will give you all kinds of data. Sensor is made up of electrical components and there could be a spike due to a malfunction. This technology is about 120 at the cost of a regulatory monitor. A country like India, when you take a regulatory monitor, it is going to cost you about $200,000. That's about 1.5 crore rupees just to set up a regulatory monitoring site. So that's kind of the scale of the work that we were looking at. And we realized that the regulatory monitors, while they meet certain certifications and standards, they come at a massive price tag, which you know most cities or towns in India are not going to be able to afford. The central government has a 4,000 crore budget right now for clean air technologies from the Finance Commission. And there was a good chance that almost 25 to 30 percent was going to be spent in just importing equipment, which we've now provided a very credible alternative, which has been accepted at the highest level. We are also now being called upon to measure indoor air quality, specifically in hospitals where, you know, air purification systems are being used. What we are really trying to drive towards is that every citizen has access to knowing about what conditions they're living in and they can play a role in trying to improve it.